Dan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. You'll be it's about a 70 second delay before he does this over here. It's time to match the stars. We'll just sit here and wait. He's waiting to hear his name on the air. And when he hears me in the delay 70 seconds ago saying his name, and here it comes. I was called before. We're also going through the delay at the local station, in this case in Dallas. What do they have a one minute delay there, too? Holy cow. Most paranoid company in the world. Right, we'll just sit here and wait. That means you are talking to a broad audience. A broad. He's the next caller. Here it comes. He hung up in the middle of that. He's going to wait till he hears his name. It's a broad. Generally speaking. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Ben on the Tom Likas. <laughs> Hello? Why, yes. What's going on there, Tom? Not much, Ben. Let me ask you a question, Ben. Did, did Dean tell you to turn the radio off? Yeah, I just now turned it off. But did he tell you to turn it off before I got to the phone? Uh, no, he just said turn it off. <laughs> and And did you do it when he told you to? No, I did not. I mean, it's just such a great conversation. I couldn't, I couldn't find myself to turn it off. But you realize you could hear it over the phone. Oh, <laughs> when you were on I do home. now. But you know I what think... happened? You spent two minutes of our time while we waited for you to hear your name on the radio because oh, we're in because de- we're in delay. You say. Oh, I apologize for that. And that's why he tells you to turn the radio off, right? So that you'll hear me say your name into the telephone. Huh. And, and then you'd know right away you're on the air instead of the two minutes of playing the theme of the match game and waiting for you to recognize that we were talking to you. Yeah, that's my fault on that one. Turn up the radio now. Then you can hear the theme of the match game. Turn it on now. Turn it on now? Turn it on right now. Turn it on. Crank it. Yeah, you just said I can wait to hear my name. Right? Yeah, I can hear you. So do I need to turn it off now? No, turn it louder. Turn it louder? Yeah, please. All right. Hello? How's that sound? What's going on? I think that sounded pretty good there, Ben. Question, Ben. Did Dean tell you to turn the radio off? Can I? <laughs> you know what? I thought we were talking about women being idiots. Now I feel like an idiot. Oh. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind. A radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 TA. 1 800 5 800. Eight six six. The Tom Likas Show, brought to you in part by H and R Block. You got people for an office near you. Call. Did we run out of music? Why? It's a minute eighteen. We got to loop that damn thing. What if I have a billboard to read? Can we loop that? Okay, good. H&R Block, you got people for an office near you. Call 1-800-HR-BLOCK or visit hrblock.com. See, it doesn't work without music. It's dry. 
You got to fix that. <sighs> you don't find out till you're on the air. What are you going to do? Sit around here rehearsing billboards all day? No. Anyway, Art's going to put that on the list. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. <laughs> Here we are together again on the radio. With this story from abcnews.com. Love this. It says here, Mick Jagger, Rupert Murdoch, and Michael Douglas all have the right idea. Evolutionarily speaking. Says here that statistics show that monogamous men have the most children if they marry women younger than themselves. <laughs> How much younger is the key question. Last year, a study of Swedish census information suggested a four to six year age gap is best. But new research has found that in some circumstances, a surprisingly large gap, 15 years, is the optimum. 15 years. Martin Feeder at the University of Vienna and Suzanne Huber of the University of Veterinary Medicine, also in Vienna, Austria, studied the Swedish data and found that a simple equation related the age difference of the parents to the number of offspring. For people who had maintained monogamous relationships throughout adulthood, the most children were found in couples where the man was 4 to 5.9 years older than the woman. The probable reason behind this state of affairs, correction, the probable reasons behind this state of affairs are not controversial. Oh, really? Listen to this. This is Feeder talking now. Men want women younger than themselves because they are physically attractive. <laughs> That's not controversial. Aren't you supposed to say that women are like fine wine? You know, the more wrinkles they have, the better the tannic structure. I don't, I don't know what the saying is, but aren't you supposed to say that Women and you're supposed to say that that's the politically correct thing to say is women get older, they get better. But of course, better at what? Not better looking. Come on. The clock is ticking, ladies. Police. Yes, uh, Feeder says that men want women younger than themselves because they are physically attractive, while women tend to prioritize a partner who can provide security and stability, and so they tend to opt for older men. Says here, Feeder and Huber's calculations drew criticism. For example, Eric Lindqvist at the Research Institute of Industrial Economics in Stockholm, Sweden, pointed out that the age of the mother is likely to be more important than any age difference. The older the mother, the lower the chances of having more children. Statistician Fred Bookstein at the University of Washington, a colleague of Feeder and Huber, said, We added that factor into the calculation. The importance of the age difference did not change. Even if it holds true for Sweden, the four to six year age gap is unlikely to be optimal in all cultures. Samuli Heli at the University of Turku in Finland read Feeder and Huber's paper and said it stirred memories of an unpublished study he conducted a few years ago. He said, in 2001, I studied the demographics of the Sami people in northern Finland. I thought I had missed the opportunity to publish, but when I saw Feeder and Huber's paper, I thought, why not write a response? Helly's team performed a similar calculation to Feeder and Huber's using the demographic data from the 17th to 19th centuries that Helly had already collected from northern Finland. For the Sami people, they found that males with 15 years on their partners had the most children. Helly says, I don't know why the optimal age differences were so much bigger among the Sami people, but it might be related to culture. He said, perhaps those huge lifestyle differences are important. 
So there you go. Even for marriage, men should be with women optimally 15 years younger. And of course, that is what I am advocating. That uh, guys should be with much, much younger women. No doubt about it. That is what is right. That is what works. And even if you want to be married and have kids, it's the optimal marriage. Women who are 15 years younger than their men. Got a problem with that? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy, at least till they hit the <laughs> ground. Feels like you're flying. Uh, it's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show at one 800 tom The research is in. And it says here, this is according to Swedish research, men should be with younger women. The optimal age, 15 years. I like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anthony on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, good afternoon, Tom. Yes. I like your subject today. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Well, my girl is 18, and I'm 36. You're how old? 46. Okay. And she's 18, and there could be a better relationship. Look at that. How long have you been dating her? Uh, Six months now. Was she 18 when you started? Yes. Just barely? Yeah, actually. Were you waiting for her to turn 18? (laughs) No. (laughs) You just happened to luck out of meet her when she just turned 18. Exactly. So how did did you make this happen? Tell us the story. Well, I have a uh, history of dating younger ladies because it's nice to be with people who uh, don't expect but appreciate the littlest things in life when... A woman gets into her 30s, she demands and expects, and when they're 18, anything you give them, they love. Yeah, they're thrilled if you take them to TGI Fridays for potato skins. Exactly. Wow. So what's it like? Tell me. Uh, That's wonderful. They have somebody they can look up to and learn a little bit as a mentor, and you have somebody that uh, treats you like a king. Love that. Are you kidding me? I love it. I'd recommend it to everybody that's listening. Don't fight Don't fight for the ones that are your age, because all they're going to do is give you grief. Now, do older women get upset? Uh, you get looks occasionally, but uh, in Los Angeles, it's pretty acceptable. I think if I was in uh, Podung, Iowa, it might be a different story. But that's the reason that the Michael Douglases and uh, so on can get away with it, is because it's sociably acceptable here in town. No doubt about it. Of course, you could date just about anything here in Southern California, and it's okay. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I mean, I totally love it. I agree, and I'm, I'm, I'm. It's a, such a pleasure to speak to you because I think that uh, you're you're the Dalai Lama of relationships. I think that might be true. So, yes, keep on preaching uh, the word. I certainly will, Anthony. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Uh, Not much. Turned the radio on and heard the optimal age is 15 years younger and wanted you to know that I'm getting married in two weeks to a man who is 15 years older than me. Tell us the story. Um, I met him two years ago, and he was... Very single, dating quite a few girls at once, and I um, just didn't really care to find a guy because I'm a, I'm a Lycus girl. I believe in everything you say for the most part, actually. <laughs> um, and he fell for me, and I, he's a real man. He's older. He's supportive. Um, I do not rely on him financially, which is rare for girls. And uh, he, he knows how to treat me with respect, 
and I cook, I clean, I do the laundry. Uh, he comes home from work, whether I'm working or not that day, there is food on the table and I, and he appreciates me for it. And that's, that's how it should be. Sounds good to me. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to head off the phone because I don't want him to hear it. <laughs> so I love you and you just take me out with a bong hit. I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I just uh, I just have a little, little situation here, but thank you for uh, answering my phone call. Uh, I've been with the older women for the past six six years, and it's been a nightmare, man. You've been with uh, old. Wait, wait. You've been with older women. Yeah. Why? Uh, just because I was dating younger girl, and then. Uh, uh, I thought, you know, I wanted to settle down and, you know, just have what, you know, the home thing, you know, have with a, with a table, the food in the table and everything. And no, I didn't want no jealousy and anything, but it works out the worst. It works out totally the opposite way. Tell me how. Well, she's totally jealous and, and everybody that I look at, everybody, my ex, my ex-girlfriend, uh, my customers, you know, I happen to have my own business, and there's girls' customers, you know what I mean? They call me, and then she always yells and that. Now she, she gets mad, she kicks me out of the house, but I have a little girl, and I just don't want to leave my little girl, but it's, it seems like a nightmare. Wait a minute, and, and this girl was from who? Who did you have this girl with? With the older women. Why'd you do that? Supposedly, she couldn't have kids, man. Why and, did, and you believed it? Yeah. That wasn't smart, was it? Not at all. Jesus. Not at all. It's totally amazing. So no. now, what, are you stuck in this relationship? Why, why, why are you still there? Uh, I'm, that's why I asked my question. I asked myself why. Because just because I don't want to leave my little girl, but I see scream, she she yells at me, she tells me all this stuff on uh in front of my little girl, I will what's the what's the point to stay to kick you know, to stay in the house if uh, my little girl's gonna see all that stuff, you know. Maybe she grew up to be like that, you know. That's right. This is not good for your kid. Mm -hmm. And the only thing she has she says, Oh, you got a, you have bad record, you know, from before. Uh we had this uh, domestic violence and but I did all my program and all that stuff. She goes, if you if, if you if Why, wait, you domestic leave. violence? Why? Is uh we were yelling we were screaming and yelling one time and then I pushed her on the laundry and she called a cop for me. And oh, so I went boy. so I went to jail for like six months for that. Isn't that enough reason to leave? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Isn't it? I just, I'm sorry. Why didn't you leave then? Because uh, she went, she went to the jail and then, you know, visited me, and she was sorry and everything. And she said she she was getting into church and she was going to change, but well, nothing changed. Well, why did you believe that? <laughs> dumb, dumb on me. Dumb, dumb. I'll <laughs> buy that. Dumb. <laughs> so now, like, I feel like, what the hell am I doing here? You know what I mean? I just. I don't know what to do. I mean, now I, I, I listen to your show and I, I hear about younger women, and I think that's, I want to go back to that. <laughs> so why don't you? Because I need to leave this chick first, because I know she'll give me a... How hard is that going to be? Well, the thing is, I have I have a business, and, and then she says, you know, if you leave me, I, I have all this proof that you make all this money, that I'm going to go to court, and I'm going to take everything from you. Good work, Ace. Hmm? Good work, but she's taking money from you anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, uh, I, I work hard for to have my own business, and uh, I don't want her to take all this. Well, that's money why you need an attorney. Mm -hmm. Good thing you didn't get married. No, and no. And I'm but you you her. need an attorney. Mm. When are you going to stop being a cheapskate and hire an attorney? Well, as soon as I, as soon as, as soon as I finish a couple projects that I have, work projects, 
What does that have to do with anything? Well, because uh, if you go to court and then something happened, you know, maybe, you know, the, she says something that I might put me in jail. That well, was... first, you, do, you, you nothing's going to happen just by talking to an attorney. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You don't have to. You don't have to leave, but you can be prepared. See, part of leaving is being prepared to go. Okay. And rather than doing it like a soap opera, mm -hmm. how about you make a plan? No drama. Uh huh. You you first talk to an attorney. You find out what your rights are. You find out what the risks are. You do what the attorney advises at the pace he advises. Yes. Doesn't that make think, more sense than what you're doing now, which is nothing? Uh-huh. So when are you yeah. going to hire an attorney? Uh, I'll, I'll say this week because things are getting really ugly. You know what I mean? And by the way, are you cheating on your taxes and stuff? Is that what she's threatening you with here? Yeah, she's threatening me that I'm cheating, and which I'm, uh, I, I'm not doing. Well, that's, that's the worst part. When I used to do it, she wouldn't say. Well, then, then what does she know about the money you make that she uh, wouldn't know otherwise? Well, because when I I, I cash my checks, usually I cash my checks, and then uh, in my drawer I put. Sometimes I take, I get my wallet and put my wallet in my drawer, and I have I have my cup, the copies of the checks that I I make. You know what I mean? And those are like customer checks. When I do, uh, you know, when I do a remodel in a house, it's like four or five, ten thousand dollars check but that's not all my money you know i have to pay the workers and all that you know and she thinks i make all that money well uh if you honest on your tax returns you have nothing to fear nothing okay hang on a second tony jason on the top like a show with tony what did you want to say hey man oh you sound like a little girl man you need to shut up with that i had a girl that was three years younger than me and i married her being stupid okay for one I dumped her ass so fast, it wasn't even funny, okay? Yes, I have a little boy by her, but, you know, that's besides the point. Now, I got a woman now that's about six years older than me, and she does everything from the cooking to the cleaning to everything. I can bring my laundry over to her house, and she does it for me. Now, where'd you meet this chick? That's what I want to know. I work at a, at a work site. At a work site. Do you know anything about her family history? I'm sorry? Do you know anything about her family history? Has she had everything handed to her on a silver plate, like my ex-wife? Uh, yeah, after a while, I, I heard that, you know, she, same thing. She separated from her husband, and she took everything away from him. And she, she didn't recuperate from that, so she's getting all that anger. Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you don't know yeah. how to appreciate a damn thing. You need to dump that bitch, just like Tom like it says, baby. Yeah. Well, appreciate, I appreciate it for your input, man. I'm telling you, you need to go look elsewhere for something else. Yeah. Yeah, you need to dump that bitch. Like it's 101. Hey, Tom, you my ninja, baby. Stay up. Thank you. There goes Jason. There goes Tony. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> That's our telephone number. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that call. You bet I am. Crystal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I'm a first-time caller, a short-time listener. Um, I encourage my husband to listen to you. I really do appreciate what you're doing out there. But I heard the 46-year-old dating the 18-year-old, and it's the best thing ever. I can't possibly understand that. Why not? Um, well, what can you relate to an 18-year-old when you're 46? And uh, when she takes an her accomplished 46 When she takes her clothes off, you see this amazing, perfect, tight, nubile body. Well, an, an older woman can have that if she maintains herself. No, and no, cares for they, herself no, in a no. But they way. can go to the gym and they can do all the Pilates they like. Uh, there are veins, there are crow's feet, there are menopausal mustaches. There are. Uh, ever see a woman who's got a little too much sun? If she's got any breast relaxing going on, and she's got that little, uh, uh, like those little lines at the top, like wrinkles yeah, on the top yeah, of her those breasts. Those things are all unfortunate, but in the times we live in, all that can be taken care of. Yeah, but guess I, mean, I mean, a woman should take care of herself, support herself, be a good, strong woman, and a man. Well, fine, but the point is, that. there's not a man out there who doesn't get completely hot looking at an 18 year old naked. 
Okay, I get that, but why so what's would, the why problem? You bring yourself down to an eighteen-year-old's level. What do you mean, bring yourself down? How well, are we bringing well, ourselves he, down? Well, he, he said he's having an actual relationship with her. Why did? Why isn't he just doing what you promote and and just to have sex with? Well, her? that's a whole other story. Uh, but if you're gonna have a relationship, why wouldn't you want to have one with somebody who's that young? Why not? Well, because there's nothing besides the sex. So why put the most men don't really most men don't really need much more than that from a woman. I mean, I mean that's your that's your point of view. I don't quite agree with that. I'm well, but you're not a man. But you're not a man. And and yeah, and I I understand. I will never understand the man the man point of view in the same way a man. All right, the fact that you don't understand it, the fact that you don't understand it, doesn't make it not true. Oh no, I I so you know it's true. Get that. So yeah, you know, I, I, I think you I know, every man forward. out there wants an eighteen-year-old. Every man listening Including to this show, my husband, who listens to your show faithfully. Well, there. You, so, so you don't understand it, but you can't deny it. Yeah, I don't understand it, but I will accept it. It is what it is. And that is because what men really want is the sex more than anything. And, and, and women man, like you, you women like you, refuse to accept that. You find it hard. You probably have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning if you thought that your husband's primary interest in you is the way you look. Um, no, I truly believe that my husband's main focus is how I look. That's why I take care of myself. That's uh-huh. why. I'm a focus. I mean, I and you're 23, and and he would like an eight. You're 23. I mean, it's not like you're 33 or 43. You're 23, and your husband would like an 18 year old. Oh, and I'm sure. I mean, anything younger is better. So, what is it that we disagree about here? Um, I disagree that he puts this relationship title on the whole. I'm I'm with an 18 year old. Like, why would you even validate an 18 year old having sex with an 18 year old and putting a, a relationship? Title What's wrong on? with that? I mean, I'm, well, if he believes in the Tom Likas way. No, which, no. Again, I, for Pete, I don't. I again, I, I I agree with you that that is what I uh, advocate. But if someone is going to have a relationship. Better to have it with an 18-year-old who doesn't give you any lip than one of those mouthy, sassy 35-year-olds who will. Well, maybe I'll be mouthy and sassy when I'm 35, but hopefully I won't because I'll be listening to your show. Hopefully you won't, Crystal. Well, I appreciate your show, Tom, and thanks for taking my call. You keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I just have a problem with you calling women dumb bitches. I don't see where you get off. Well, I only do it when they are dumb bitches. Yeah, but it's just such a derogatory term. You cannot find any other words in your vocabulary just to express how you feel. Oh, yeah. Dumb whores, uh, stupid broads. This is plenty of words in my vocabulary. You are not even uh, I'm a, Why are you on I'm, the radio? This is I'm over the hill sluts. I mean, I'm, I'm like a thesaurus. I got plenty of words. It's the Dumb Like It Show. The Tom Likas Show, coming to you from our nation's capital, Hollywood, California. Thank you for tuning in. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We started our conversation this hour about a study that says that, evolutionarily speaking, imagine me 15 years older. Than his wife or girlfriend. 15 years. That's right. So that means, boys, if you are 25, your trophy wife is in the fifth grade. That's right. One eight, she's watching Hannah Montana. Exactly. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Here comes Izzy on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello. I said Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, she's probably laughing at me now. I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Hi. Um, I'm 28, and my husband will be 50 this year. Look at that. How's it working out for you? Ten years, baby. <laughs> and wow. Years. Yes. So, what did he meet you like the prom or something? No, he picked me up from the daycare. No, um, my we actually I was going to college and and he was doing acting and um, his shoot was canceled and and you know we just happened to be there at the right time, right place and it happened. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so he was 40 and you were 18. Yes, I know. So what was that like the first time you uh, got with him? Well, he doesn't look like he doesn't look forty. He doesn't act forty. He's uh, he's full of energy, and um, I'm mature, so I think it works out perfect. Uh, my parents didn't think so, but uh, you know they like him now. Uh, things okay now. Wow. And what about other women? What do they say? Um. Well, yeah. Well, you know, we don't. It's weird with our friends because I I I can never hang out with my girlfriends. You know because. Uh, you know, they're fun. He could be fun, but it's kind of awkward, you know? Like, all they want to talk, you know, uh -huh. things like that. You know, and, and he's more mature, and I don't know. <laughs> really? That part's, kind of, that part's kind of tough, but, you know, we've done everything. We've done clubs and restaurants and traveling in Europe. We've done everything together. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it works out fine. It all depends how you handle it. I think it all depends how the couple handle it. And if they get each other, if they understand each other, then that's it. It's all that matters. And it doesn't matter if he's 40 years older than you or, you know, same age. A lot of people don't agree with that, but uh, I happen to think it's a great idea. I think so, too. Yes, I work. I've got two kids. Um, everything's perfect. Sex, uh, everything. <laughs> Why are you giggling? I... <laughs> Nothing. I'm just everything's great. I can't complain. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just waiting for you to say something sarcastic. So I'm just <laughs> no. I, 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 if your husband is 50 and you're 28, I congratulate him. That's good. I know he's he's so he's always proud of introducing me to all his friends and um, whatever. <laughs> so uh, uh, Dean wants to know if uh, your husband's the only dude you ever banged. No, sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> not, too, not too many before him. How many? Three. Three? Yes. Is your husband the best of the four? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. He gets the job done. Gets the job done very well, sir. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Still giggling, too. I am. What's going on? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> and does he have take any little blue pills or anything? No, 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 nothing. You know, yet. you know why that is. <laughs> why? I always, I always talked about the organic cure for ED. <laughs> I agree with that. You know, I completely agree with that. <laughs> the, uh, the organic cure for ED is YG. Yeah. <laughs> young yeah, girls. Of course, young, young, young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think there's anybody, any guy out there who has a, a wife who's 15 or 20 years younger, and there's no ED. No, no. It just no isn't. Way. ED is from having to look at Mrs. Mike Ditka naked. Of course you got ED. <laughs> You're forced. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's got to take pills. <laughs> I agree, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> if he was looking at a 28-year-old, I'll tell you what. Mike Ditko could put the Cialis down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're laughing because it's true. <laughs> right? You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Izzy. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun over there. It is. It's party, yes. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Doc. Bye. Bye. There she goes. She's human ED medicine. That's what she is. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Daniel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? You busy over there, Daniel? No, I'm not. Just I pretty much I'm just driving right now. Oh, because uh, I kept saying your name and you were not responding. No, there was like some gap, you know, when you say my name and I was going to say something. And I don't know what happened. So how's it going? It's going great. We're killing time here like there's no tomorrow. I have. I've been listening to your show. I've been listening for a long, long time. I've been deployed. I'm in the military. But anyway, 
Uh, just uh, bring it back on the, you know, what we're talking about, you know, about dating young girls. And, um, well, pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm agree, you know, what you said was something, I mean, like a small percentage, you know, I might be in disagree, you know, what you're saying, you know, it might be, it might be a good experience and a good quality time, you know, to spend time with a younger girl. But I'm 27 years old. I've been married for three years. I have a daughter. Um, beautiful daughter, you know, I'm very proud of her. And my wife, she's older than me. And I have, you know, I don't feel regret about it. You know, I think I have a beautiful time with my wife. And with all the experience that I have with younger girls, they seem pretty immature. Um, it's, it, it pretty much I will take, you know, as uh, as uh, just one night date. Um, just do your business and that's it. And I'm sorry, you know, they're younger, you know, they might be listening this in this way too. But that's all my experience that I have and some friends experience too. Well, I, I personally don't uh, need a woman to uh, have a political conversation with, and I'll bet you don't have one with your wife either. Say again? I said I personally uh, don't get with a woman to have a political conversation or a substantive conversation, and I'm sure you don't have them with your wife either. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we be, we talk about it, you know, because she's older than me, and um, she, she, she knows about it, you know. Like one of the first callers that he say, you know, that he's – yeah, he's been dating older women. You know, I've been dating older women too before my wife, and I find that's a really challenging and a good experience in my in my point of view. Some of them they were kind of wacko and very insecure, but you know what? I dumped them. You know, because some I was looking for something stable, um, just you know move on with my life. You know, but I don't think, you know, youngers, you know, they can be, you know, like, uh, there's some youngers that can be pretty mature, you know, they have their goals and you have to understand it and sometimes you have to let them go, you know, but uh, I think, you know, it can be a good, you know, good experience. But at the same time, there are some girls, you know, that are pretty immature, you know, like 18 years old. I think I'll call, you know, 22 years old. And uh, immature is okay as long as they shut up and put their left leg at the 10 and the right leg at the 2. <laughs> yep. If they could just shut their trap, I'll be very happy. Yep. All right, Daniel, thank you for that. Eddie on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, sir. How you doing? Great. Sounds good. Well, listen, I'm 30, and my uh, girlfriend, she's 18, right? And uh, she's about to graduate from high school, so I'm thinking, I'm debating whether I should take her to the prom or not. She wants me to go. But I don't know yet. Uh, what do you think? Uh, it depends on uh, how likely she is to go uh, head off with somebody else if she goes to the prom without you. That's what I'm worried about, but uh, uh, I don't really care to be <laughs> Oh, okay, great. Well, if you don't care what happens, then you should send her off on her own. Okay, great. Uh, I was thinking of just following what you said and just Oh, wait. I wouldn't. Uh, no, I'm, I am anti-prom. Sounds good. Sounds That's her good. dream, not yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Okay. I mean, uh, think about it. Do, do you have any interest in going to a prom? Well, I've never been to one, to be honest. That's because you were not interested. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And you're still not. Not really. I just don't want other guys, you know, hugging on her. But if that's what she wants, I don't really care. But you know what? That frees you up for the evening to do whatever you want. Yep. And then afterwards, the after party is the best part. Yeah, but by the way, she's not your girlfriend, is she? Well, uh, we're just dating. Good. So go date someone else the night of the prom. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. It's a perfect situation. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, Tom. All right, Eddie. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Ricardo, I have less than 30 seconds, and I'm not kidding. Hello, Tom. Hi. How's it going, man? Great. Now I've got 25 seconds. Oh, my God. Is that right? Um, well, she's uh, she just turned 21, and I'm 48. And I uh, was uh, thinking that, um, you know, probably five or ten years later, it will be, you know. Um... Wish we had more time. The Tom Likas Show.